All right, what's up guys? So I'm gonna be setting some traps today. A lot of you guys have been asking me how I set my traps. So I'm gonna show you how I set them and what baits to use. And got my trapping bag with me. Got all my stuff in it. And I got lamb with me somewhere. I can't find him though. And then uh, we're at, there's a swampy area over here. So I'm gonna be setting some, some traps up along there. Cause that's where like the coyotes or whatnot would be walking along. And then uh, maybe we'll do some high ground sets. Oh, there's there's Lamb. What are you doing, Lamb? All right, so I don't know if you can see, but there's a deer trail right here. And a lot of canines like to use deer trails, so I'm gonna set it right along here. I'm gonna set it a little bit off. You don't want to directly in the tra trail because what? Move, I gotta look at the trail. You don't want to set it directly in the trail because you don't want to accidentally catch a deer and then have to call the DNR and go through all that crap. So and it's also wet right now, which is a bad time to trap. So what you're gonna, gonna want to do is get a double stake, which I, I'm gonna show you that in a second. So then when they pull, it's less likely it's gonna get ripped out of the ground. So I'm gonna show you what I have in my bag. I have to pay. The trapper's bag, got a hammer leftover squirrel from the other day. Uh, I didn't eat them because I thought it'd be great trapping bait. Here's a steak. Mm. Here's a trap. And then the front part. This is one thing I think a lot of trappers should do. This is old possum fur. A lot of people think Possums are a waste of time, which they kind of are. But one thing, you should skin one out. You don't have to spend too much time on it. Just skin it out, let it dry out. And when it dries out, you can cut it into little, cut it into little strips. And then you can use that to put the lure on and jam it in the back. And that attracts the animals pretty well. Because if you just pour it on the ground, the smell goes away pretty quick. But this holds the smell for a long time. So that's pretty helpful. Then I got fox gland lure. It works for every single canine out there basically works for every animals I've caught fox possum squirrel with it I've, it, it attracts everything see this little area right in here you want to make sure there's not any big roots there we go perfect so first you need to have your bait hole so you're gonna stab your steak in there wiggle it around and this is where you're gonna throw some of your uh, squirrel in and then throw some of the lure down and jam it down in there so when the animal tries to eat it it has to dig at it for a little bit that that way there's more of a chance it'll step on your trap there this ground is really soggy so I'm kind of scared it might rip out the stake but we don't know so clear little weight right here where the traps gonna be and you want to off-center the trap either to the right or the left so that when it goes at it at a straight angle it's either gonna be the right or left hand you don't want to put it in the middle okay that's probably deep enough all right, this is a Duke number three trap, and I put the swivels on there. You can get, you have to buy the swivels separately. When you get the swivels like this, it gives you the option of putting the stakes in that go down like a scissor. So when it pulls up, it has like a scissor effect on the ground, and it kind of pinches the ground, and it's a lot harder for the animals to rip it out. See, it's like a scissor effect. Just whack them in. If I can't, they can't. Okay, a good thing to test is pull on it. Can they come out? Oh. Yeah, a coyote would eventually pull that out. Looks like it's too wet today. We're gonna have to find some higher ground. If you really wanted to, you could just use some wire and wire this to a tree. That's That would still work, but you'd, you'd want it to be really thick wire because coyotes are crazy. Walking and be behind you. All right, time to get some higher ground to set another trap. Oh, God. <laughs> I wish I was recording that. All right, I don't know if you can see, but there's a barbed wire fence here. And there is, it looks like a pretty well-used trail along it, a deer trail. But again, anything would take it. So we're gonna set a trap here. It's higher ground here, so our stakes aren't gonna probably get ripped out like they did down over there. Unlike Daniel, we're getting over this barbed fence the right way. Woo! Here we go. Look, there's a little, looks like a little leaf, little circle, so that'll keep them coming in, in on the side. Anyway, there's a bunch of crap right here. So, 
first, I want to see if this ground's actually thick. It looks promising. All right, test. It's always good to test. I hope it comes out. No, we'll be good. Coyote won't rip this out. <laughs> Finally, we found some decent land. All right, so you want to come get up and film? <laughs> because they're actually, this is the actual important set in here, and we got a little area cleared away, so now we're just going to make the spot for the, the We've bait only to done this in. three times already. Yep. Blah, blah, blah. All right, now for setting. Eh, sometimes I usually just put it on the back of the hammer. Don't screw up my dad's hammer. I won't. I mean, some people set it with their hand. I don't know, I never really tried that. But I'm not about to right now. Make sure the pan is pretty loose. Uh, it's good to night latch your traps. I haven't done that yet. I might get around to it next season. Pull that side down. There, we're set. Zoom in on it. Can you see how clear it is? Like right on the pin. See how sensitive that is? Wait, let me zoom. There it is. So now, pa! Okay. Make the sides a little bigger. <laughs> it fits in there perfectly. Now, fill the sides in. Basically, you just you don't want too much crap to be over the the hand, the uh, the jaws, because when it closes, it'll pinch around that, and then the animal will be able to rip its hand free. So just fill in all the sides. Have you ever had it? Yeah, that happens. Go a lot. off right now. It never never caught me. See. And now, basically, you just flip it over like this. And you gotta remember where the center of the trap is, so get a little stick, put it in front of it like this. Okay, now, before I do that, I bait it. And I'm gonna take some of the squirrel. Mmm, yum. And I'm gonna take a leg. Check this out. Slice into that. Daniel, what kind of knife are you using? This is a White River knife sent to us by our buddies. Pretty sharp. Let me see that it's guy. It's been doing its job. Pretty top quality knife, White River knives. Now you jam the chicken leg down in there. Yep, because it's a chicken. And, okay, did I lose this There's thing your again? chicken. Hold on, where's the... The knife? Where's my other steak? Oh, you have a steak on your leg. Oh, well, I have a steak on my leg. I so the chicken's there. Just ram that sucker down in there. Jam the chicken in the hole. <laughs> the deeper the better. You killed that chicken yesterday. Actually it was a couple days ago. Alright, now for the magic time. Take some of the possum fur that I was talking about earlier. Mm. Now you really don't want this stuff to get in your hands because it smells so bad. But it's not it as bad like as some of them. Deer pee? The Red fox gland lure is are you still filming? Yes. Red, flock, Red Fox Clan Lure is probably my favorite because it doesn't smell that bad compared to most of them. So if you get in your fingers, you just rub your hands in the dirt, it's not that bad. Hold on, I gotta use it real quick. So, take your possum fur, or you can really use a piece of clo clothing that or bread disgusting. or whatever. Yeah, well, it's like their jizz or something. Ow. So take it in this, fill it over. There we go. Really doesn't need a lot, that's all that's there. Put that I right whipped there. myself in the face with a vine. So, here's a possum, so stab it back in there. And if you want to, you can sprinkle a little bit of the lure around the area. That attracts them really well. But it's not that good to waste a lot of it because it runs out pretty quick and it's quite expensive. So that's probably good. You really just need like a little dime size and you should be set. And then now, so the pan is right there. Now I'm going to get some leaves from around here, cover my chicken up, sprinkle the leaves around, I feel like you've gone very overboard with this. 
No, not really. The pros go way overboard. Okay. You're not a pro? What? Now, I'm setting this stuff up here just to make sure they won't come around the sides. Ow. There we go. Now they're going to come in from one angle. All right, now's the important part. You're going to want the animal to step on the trigger of the trap, obviously. So you're going to want to put some sticks right in front of the trigger. And the trigger's right here. So you're going to set this like this, because uh, a lot of animals want to be stealthy, so they try not to step on sticks. So it's going to step right over it. And hopefully step right in the trigger. And you can put them on either side if you want. You can do whatever. But you basically that's how you do it. it. You need like a little V over here and it'll step over and that right there is the trigger. So we are set with this trap. We're going to go set a couple more. All right, we're going to be setting another trap right here. There's another deer trail that goes up along here and goes down there. So this should be providing. <laughs> Delicious. Yum. What's up with you? What's up with me? I don't know what's up with me. Oh, no, not. What did you... What's in your hand? You're disgusting with it. Thank you for not putting that in there. No, I would have killed you. Get an aerial view. Chicken's in there. Chicken. I'm gonna get a little bit on this stick. Hey, what time is it? What time is it, Daniel? It's like four. I need like the exact time. All right, the trap is done. We're gonna go set one final trap. Thank you for watching. Check your pocket. A beetle. <laughs> so I need a new filmer. Does any of you guys wanna come film for me and you wanna I'll play grab pranks him. on me? I'll grab him. Heading out for our final trap. Right along another trail, perfect. We'll be doing generous portions of this guy. I'm gonna chuck a good bit of this around here. Just like, leg right there. Thank you.